Good morning, student, and welcome to another video which is related to bid and ask rate. So before we begin, we wanted to understand first that what is the meaning of bid and ask rate. And then with the help of an example, we will further dive into the meaning and then the way how to understand and interpret your answer. So bid and ask. Uh, means buy and sell in terms of the forex language. So the bid price is what the dealer is willing to pay for the currency, while an ask price is the rate at which the dealer will sell the same currency. If you look here in the example which I have quoted, this is a bid and ask rate for $1 in terms of an Indian rupee. So the way how do we interpret in case if they, the international forex sign has been used, which here you can see that uh, rupee by dollars, which means if a dealer wanted to buy dollars from you, I repeat, if a dealer wanted to buy dollars from you, you have to look into the bid. And if the dealer is selling dollars to you, you have to look for the ask rate because bid means buy and ask mean to sell. Sell what? Whatsoever is the quote in which denomination it has been quoted. So you have to look into the exchange rate that what is that rate in which it has been denominated. Here you can see that $1 in terms of Indian rupees is what the quote is available. So if the dealer wanted to buy from the client or the customers then it is going to look into that 81.953 and if the dealer is selling dollars it is going to take 81.963 here you can also see that our always ask rates are always higher than the bid risk uh, uh, because that is what the spread so the difference between the bid and a asks, uh, ask rate is what we call bid ask spread, right? And this spread is where the real profitability of the dealer lies. So therefore, always the ask rate is always and always higher than your bid rate. And this is very apparently you can see that uh, with 953 and 963, the difference from 81.953 to 81.963 is what the spread of the dealer. Looking into the example uh, here, um, if you remember, this is one of the question that I ask um, in one of the tests. And um, here, if you can see that there are four quotes is uh, given for A, B, C and D bank. And if you look into further, the first and foremost thing you have to look into any such bid and ask rate question that it has been shown in what currency that what is this rate bid and ask spread for which currency. So here if you see it is basically um, uh, if you get to see it is mentioned in terms of Swiss franc versus your uh, dollar. So here the one dollar is equal to bid for Swiss franc is 1.2430 and the ask rate is 1.2433 right so if i further rewrite this say suppose i'm taking i'm considering first uh, question uh, first part which means i am looking on to the rate of bank a which is quoted in terms of the dollar and it is written as swiss franc 1.2430 in terms of bid and in terms of the ask, it is written as Swiss franc 1.2433. Here you can apparently see that ask rate is higher than your bid rate, right? Now, what does this mean? It means that the dealer, when the dealer, who is the dealer? This is your bank A. When the dealer will buy dollars from you, I repeat, when the dealers will buy dollars from you, it is going to look into this rate which is buy when the dealer is selling dollars to you it is going to look into the ask rate this is what the meaning of you the way the bid and ask rate is shown now let's look into the question that what exactly the question want you so a bank calls 
four other banks for a dollar Swiss franc um, rates here. And if you see down explicitly, it has been mentioned that one dollar, this is the bid and this is the ask rate for all four different types of the bank. The bank wishes, this means you can understand this bank as in terms of any of the uh, a customer or a client, right? So bank wishes to sell Swiss franc with which bank and at what rate should it deal and why? So you have to first let us know that what is the rate at which the customer should look onto it. And also you have to give a reasoning for it that why do you think so a customer should look onto whether it is bid or ask rate. In order to understand, let me just uh, uh, draw a very simple, um, maybe an interpretation which will help you out. So suppose this is a bank. Okay, so this is a bank and this is the same bank out of which these all four um, quotes has been given. Now, this is a bank, which means it's a dealer. And there are four dealers rate which is given to you. And here is you. You are also a bank, one of the bank, right? So you wanted to optimize your decision and that is the reason you are looking for the best quote. When you are, when you asked all of these banks, they have given you all different types of and rate, rate from here. So these are the four rates which is given. Now the most important thing, rate is given in which currency? So rate is given in terms of dollar. Okay, this means in terms of dollar, the rate is given as bid and ask rate. What do you have? You have a Swiss franc, right? What do you want? I wanted to sell Swiss franc, okay? When you are selling Swiss franc, what will you get in return? You will, you will get a dollars in return. This means, this means, what do you want from these dealers? Okay, very important question. What do you want from these dealers? So if I just ask that this is you and what do you want from dealers? You want that bank should take your Swiss franc and return you back dollars, right? So this means when you wanted to have this exchange to happen, what is the rate with in terms of the bank? So when you're looking here, Say I'm looking for bank one. So bank one is basically giving me, bank one is giving me 1.24302, 3, 1 1.2433. This is my bid and this is my ask rate. Okay. And this rate is basically in terms of the Swiss franc. Here, this is dollar one. Now think about it. This is bank and here is you. What do you want? You want dollars in exchange for Swiss franc, right? So when you want dollars, you approach this bank. Now the most important thing, what the dealer is doing. What the dealer is doing. Think about it. What the dealer is doing for dollars. Is he buying dollars from you? Or is he selling dollars to you? I repeat, is, he, is the dealer is buying dollars from you or is he selling dollars to you? The dealer is selling dollars to you, right? In return of your Swiss franc. Basically, the dealer is taking Swiss francs from you and giving you dollars. So in terms of the dealer's quote, what is it? The dealer is selling dollars to you. This means I have to look into this quote, which means an ask quote. So here you got your answer that a quote which you have to look here need to be only the ask rate. Okay, ask rate. So let me say jot down your ask rate. What is the ask rate which is given? So I will write down all the ask rate for bank A and B and C and D. And I am only writing the ask rate, the reason you know. So this is the first rate, 1.2432. That's the second rate. And this is all indifferent rate. So there are three rates, which is very common. And then there is a rate, which is less as 
as a as a buyer of dollars as a buyer of dollars what do buyer always do buyer always wanted to buy at a lesser price right as a buyer you always look for the one which is the less price out of which if you just look into it this is what the less ask rate right this is the uh, i would say the the best rate that you are getting from bank b because bank b will be selling dollars bank b will be selling dollars to you at 1.2432 franc right and therefore the best rate which you should take should be from bank b and because and you have to give a reason to it why do you want to do so because as a customer you are buying a dollars but the quote is always from the perspective of a dealer what dealer is doing dealer is selling dollars to you and therefore you have to look for all of the ask rate and then to that ask rate which is the the least actually in the given scenario because as a buyer you always look for uh, whatever uh, securities you wanted to buy you always wanted to buy at a lesser price so the best and the best deal is from bank b at the rate 1.2432 hope uh, that clears your doubt all the very best